few weeks ago, you and I talked about how Justin Herbert was a shoe in for offensive rookie of the year. You know, Tua got benched, Burrow got hurt. Didn't matter what the odds were. It was like, make the bet, easy money, he's a lock. Well, fast forward to today, we're coming off of two weeks where Justin Herbert has looked extremely human. You know, he got locked down by the Bills. Then he got the, the Belichick hammer dropped on him 45 to zero at home last week in an embarrassing loss. And we just saw a couple weeks ago, the Falcons completely limit a Raiders offense that was pretty good coming up to that point. So, I mean, I don't think it's outside of the range where, you know, we, I mean, we both like the Chargers this week, but I could see Justin Herbert laying an egg again. And at that point, I mean, I don't know, could you make the argument that he has been a better offensive player than Justin Jefferson, who's on pace to have more receiving yards as a rookie than Randy Moss did? Or, or Tua, who could be, you know, playing in a playoff game while Herbert is stuck on a four or five win Chargers team. I don't know. So, I mean, look at these odds. Justin Herbert, minus 450 for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Justin Jefferson, plus 450. And Tua's 1,500. And I mean, if he's a quarterback and he somehow wins a playoff game, I mean, that, that feels like uh, a stone lock to me. So, I don't know. How do you feel about this? updating our stance on Justin Herbert as Offensive Rookie of the Year. I think the right bet with those odds is Justin Jefferson. Uh, What you say? Plus 400 plus 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 450. 450, That's the the correct bet if you're putting money on the line. Because I'm not laying minus 450 on Justin Herbert. My best bet out of that would be Justin Jefferson who's been having you know one of the best rookie careers like we said of all time. And it it could end up being the best rookie season of all time. Right. So that would be the smart bet would be to pick Justin Jefferson at those odds. And maybe you could throw a couple bucks on, on Tua as a long shot. Uh, but definitely I would not bet on Justin Herbert at this point as a minus 400 favorite. There's literally no value in that bet, but he could still easily win it just because I, I like to think that it's basically a stats award. And at the, at the end of the year, when it's all said and done, Justin Herbert will have the best stats since, you know, he's throwing 50 times a game and he, he's been very consistent in terms of uh, stats and, and fantasy. So I think Justin Herbert still wins it, but I think the best bet to make if you want positive expected value is Justin Jefferson. Right. I mean, I think that this week is going to swing things a lot. I mean, either Justin Herbert bounces back heavily and maybe he locks it up. You know, there's a lot riding on this meaningless game between, you know, two terrible teams, but I think he could either lock it up or if he has a really bad game here and the Chargers get locked down again and Justin Jefferson, you know, is on pace for one of the best, you know, receiving lines by a rookie ever. I think that, I don't know, I think these odds shift drastically next, uh, next week if we see that play out that way. 